Hey, I'm Hester and this is Handmade Home, the channel for all your craft and interior DIYs. As you might know, I'm the latest painter in residence for Annie Sloan and today I'm going to show you my third project and this is a cute one. I'm going to make it on stuff you probably have lying around your house because I'm going to turn some figurines and old plates into these really cute trinket dishes. So you need an old plate and a figurine and you want something with quite a distinct shape because you're going to paint the whole thing you will still want to see what kind of animal it is and I'm going to glue the donkey onto the middle of the plate and for this we need a strong glue I'm using Gorilla Glue but you can use any kind of glue that you like that's good with ceramics and my glue works with water so I slightly have to dampen the feet of my donkey apply the glue and stick him to the middle of the plate and besides the donkey, I also made this really cute doggy. He sits on a saucer and this teeny tiny squirrel and he sits on the inside of a gem jar lid because I didn't have a saucer small enough for him. And when the glue is completely dry, we're gonna paint the figurines and the plate. And I'm using chalk paint in pure. Just give it one coat of paint, let this dry completely. And if needed, give it a second or maybe even a third coat. And when all your paint completely dry, it's time to start decorating with the copper leaf. For this you need size, and size is like a sort of glue, and you apply this with a tiny brush, and just on the bits that you want a bit of copper, so I like doing the ears, the nose, and some dots here and there on the body. When the size is slightly dry, you need to be a bit sticky, you can apply the copper leaf. Now with a dry paintbrush, you're going to take a little bit of your metal leaf, and you're going to push it against where you put the size. your copper attached I'm using a dry cloth and I just simply brush off a little bit of excess metal that doesn't have any size beneath it so I'm just gonna rub it very gently just make it all nice and smooth and the final step is applying clear lacquer all over the figurine and the plate once this is dry your plate is ready to be used they're nice to use ornaments just on your mantelpiece or in your bookcase but are also really lovely to use to keep all your jewellery organised. To keep your keys and change handy in one place, or simply fill the plate with delicious chocolates. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and have a look on anysloan.com for all the products I use in this video and for all my projects in the Painter in Resident programme. And have a look on hestershandmadehome.com for more craft ideas for your home.